Hello, Lakeshore District families and community members. My name is Mary Libiota, and I'm the school nurse consultant for the Macomb Intermediate School District. I have been providing school nurse consultation in Macomb County School Districts for eight years. Prior to that, I was the district nurse in Utica Community Schools for 15 years. And I'm very excited that Lakeshore Public Schools has had a, added a district nurse this school year. I have had the opportunity to serve as a mentor for Katie Weedman. The role of the district nurse has evolved a great deal in the past 15 years or so. The perception that a school nurse provides aids to students in the way of band-aids and boo-boos is certainly not the case today. Katie and I will take this opportunity to let you know how instrumental a school district nurse is to the academic success of students. Hello Lakeshore, my name is Katie Weedman. I'm the district-wide registered nurse for Lakeshore Public Schools. It's an honor and privilege to be the district nurse for such a dedicated and caring community. As Mary touched base, having a school nurse for the district plays a vital role in the health, safety, and well-being of students, as well as its staff members. It may not come as a surprise, but school systems have seen a steady increase in students with chronic health conditions, such as diabetes, asthma, food allergies, seizure disorders, ADHD, and physical and mental disorders. Research shows that students with chronic health conditions may miss school even more often than others. Eventually, this absenteeism may affect academic performance. Here at Lakeshore, I wanna work closely with these families and students to promote student health and safety and ensure an overall more productive school learning environment. If your child has a chronic medical condition, then it is essential every year to turn in the necessary paperwork to the district to ensure that we are providing the most accurate and appropriate care for your child and their medical needs. These forms, which include medical action plans for conditions such as diabetes, allergies, asthma, and seizure disorders, as well as the medication permission forms, can all be easily accessed on the Lakeshore District website under the For Parents tab in the District Forms section. Here you can fill out these forms electronically on Inform K-12 and send them to your child's physician, which they in turn can email back to us, or you can download and print these forms if you choose. My contact information can also be located on the district website, and I encourage you all to reach out if you have any questions or medical concerns regarding your child. Ideally, the health action plans become the basis for training that Katie will do throughout the district. As she indicated, this will be sanctioned by your students' physicians. All staff will be trained on how to assist students with food allergies, asthma, diabetes, seizure disorder, cardiac conditions, and any other health conditions that impact the student during the school day. Ultimately, the awareness and the training will assist in keeping students safe and healthy while they're at school. As a school nurse, I'll have many roles, which include health leader, care coordinator, emergency responder, health advocate, health educator, and community health coordinator. I'll provide professional input for effective school health policies and programs, and will play an integral part in developing plans for first aid, emergency preparedness planning, performing triage of responsibilities, and educating and training staff on a variety of health and wellness conditions and topics. As the district nurse, I offer the training, expertise, and experience to evaluate illness and injury, and to help manage and recognize potentially serious changes in those chronic medical conditions. I'll be the first line in helping identify communicable diseases and other health trends and referring students and their families to community health service resources when needed. I'll also help to identify health problems that can hinder learning, such as vision and hearing problems, by collaborating with the Macomb County Health Department on regular health screenings. By promoting student health, students in turn have better attendance and academic achievement, and they're less likely to drop out of school. Ensuring that more time is spent in the classroom learning versus outside due to these chronic or acute medical conditions. And research has shown that for every dollar spent on school nursing, society saves $2.20. These savings come from preventing emergency, costly emergency room visits and parents missing time at work to care for their sick children. By establishing healthier schools, we can grow into a healthier community.